Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Q&A just talking about everything wedding stuff. You guys had so many questions about our wedding on my Instagram when I put like a little question box thing. So I'm just going to be answering those for you guys. Johnny and I's wedding is December 21st, 2021 this year. I think we have like the cutest wedding date. It's 12, 21, 21 and it's here in Texas. So that's super exciting, but I'm just going to get right into your guys' questions and answer them for you. The first question is, what are you most excited about for your wedding? Honestly, like as exciting as the wedding is, I am just super excited for like life after the wedding and just being married. I have always dreamed of growing up and getting married to like a prince and like Johnny is just the most handsome person ever, the sweetest ever. So I've just truly been blessed with him. So I'm really, really excited for life after the wedding and just married life and going through things as a married couple. But regarding our wedding, I am really excited to see the finished product of everything, of all the details I've been planning for the wedding. And then I'm really excited because all of our family and friends that are coming are flying in because almost no one lives here in Texas. So it'll be really nice to see everyone that we haven't seen in a long time. This question was asked so, so much, but it is when do you and Johnny plan on having babies? I can tell you guys right now, as long as we are concerned, there will be no babies for like four or five years because we just started dating in January so we know we're getting married pretty quick and we just want to have plenty of time together and doing life together before bringing a kid into the world because once you have a kid like there's no going back you always have that kid so we just want to be able to spend more time together before having babies and right now I live in an apartment and this is where we will be living once we get married so we definitely don't want to have a baby in an apartment or anything like that so I'd say in like five-ish years what's the theme slash colors of your wedding so our wedding is like kind of boho but not really boho if that makes sense I have a little like color palette that I put together I will insert that here except we're having navy blue too and navy blue isn't on the palette because I wasn't thinking we were going to do that but then Johnny said that he wanted to wear navy blue and have his groomsmen and best men wear navy blue so blue is going to be in there too a little bit but it's just very like natural kind of earthy I don't want anything like super bright super crazy so just like neutral colors and I have a few other inspo picks from my Pinterest board that I can insert here on the screen that I'm just kind of basing things off of like the theme I guess but honestly there's not like a really set in stone theme it's just like kind of earthy kind of boho but like kind of modern too if that makes sense it's a little bit all over the place but in my head it's gonna look really cute when it's all done this is a really fun question she asked what style of wedding dress are you going to try on so I don't want to say like too much because I don't want Johnny to know what dress I'm picking but he knows the style that I like and I really like the style of dresses that are like tank top here and they kind of go down into a deep v i don't want strapless and i know i don't want sleeves so just like a tank top style i'm not really sure if i want it to be like tight or loose fitting or anything really when i go to try on dresses i'm just gonna be like whatever is pretty and whatever catches my eye that's what i'm trying on what type of unity ceremony are you doing during the wedding we are going to be taking communion at our wedding i know some people do like the braided um not thing and then i've seen some people do like the different colors of sand coming together but we're just going to take communion together and it will be like our first communion as a married couple in front of everyone with all of our family and friends witnessing it so yeah that's what we're doing for our unity ceremony this person asked how do you feel about having a wedding so close to christmas and this is a good question because a lot of people were asking if our wedding is going to be christmas themed and I never really like wanted a wedding close to Christmas so it's not gonna be Christmas themed and I don't really mind that it's close to Christmas because it'll be kind of fun being on our honeymoon like during Christmas and it'll be nice to see all of our family and friends like close to the holidays and stuff because we will be gone for Christmas but it's not gonna be Christmas themed and I'm hoping that the weather in Texas in December is like moderate so it's not super cold 
and there shouldn't be any snow or anything on the ground so I don't want it to like feel like a Christmas wedding but we'll see how it goes there's definitely gonna be like no Christmas decor and we're not doing like red and green or things like that no hate to anyone if that's what you've done it's just I've kind of had like these color schemes in my mind for our wedding and then we planned it close to Christmas I was like eh, I'm not changing it just because of the date I love this question so much they asked would you have imagined a year ago you would be engaged a year ago today would be like late August of 2020 I would have been starting my senior year of college and if someone would have said like any year you're gonna be engaged especially engaged living in Texas I would have been like have you lost your mind like I always wanted to get married pretty close to graduating college so it's exciting that I graduated college and I'm getting married in the same year because that was like a dream that I had yeah if someone would have told me that last year I would have probably been like you're crazy that's not happening so yeah but I am just like so blessed that Johnny and I did get engaged and that we're having a quick engagement if you're a Christian and you know you're gonna get married to someone and like there's no reason to wait for your wedding I think short engagements are perfect I like how ours is only a few months it's how long August September October November December it's only a five month engagement and I feel like that's plenty of time to plan a wedding but also it's long enough to plan a wedding but it's still short enough to where it's not like oh my gosh it feels like our wedding is never gonna get here I think today it's 112 days away and like that still kind of sounds like a long time you know so a lot of people were asking how I felt about having a short engagement but honestly I love it so it's been a lot of fun this is the last question of this Q&A and she asked my favorite part of the season of life I love that question it just sounds so sweet and wholesome this season of life has been so so fun just being engaged in general is so fun but I feel like being engaged to Johnny has obviously made us a lot closer and even when we were dating like we were just the best of friends but now that we're engaged it's, I don't know it just like takes your relationship to a whole other level when you're like planning a wedding with someone like that's a big deal because you're gonna be with them, this person forever I think that my favorite part of this season of life is just getting to know Johnny better and both of us growing in ourselves and our relationship together and in our relationship with the Lord and learning about this new city that we're living in and just being here together I thought it would be really scary moving to a city with like no friends here or anything we really just have each other living here but it's honestly been so fun and just like hanging out every evening when he's off of work is so fun it's just like the highlight of my day I can't wait to hang out with him so I think that my favorite part of this season of life is just us growing and spending quality time together and doing things together that we love doing in this new city that we're living in. Also, sorry about my voice in this video. I woke up this morning feeling like a little bit groggy and I took some emergency this morning. Not, it's nothing serious. It's just like I can feel like drainage in my throat, like in the back of my throat and my nose right here. So sorry about my voice. That was all the questions that I had selected. For this video I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about our wedding because I feel like people are interested and people want to know we are having seven girls and seven guys stand up there with us I'm having two maids of honor and five bridesmaids and then Johnny's having two best men and then five groomsmen and we are having a ring bearer and no flower girl there's really no logic and us not having a flower girl other than there's no like little girls in our family the the only little girl in our family is my cousin and she just turned one so she can't like really walk yet i didn't really want flowers thrown all over the floor like i know that that's a tradition but we're getting married inside in a chapel so i think that if we were getting married outside i wouldn't really care and it would be a little different but i just don't want to make someone like clean all of that up if that makes sense I know that's probably so dumb but so no flower girl in the wedding along with that Johnny's dad is going to be marrying us which is super exciting that we're having someone like so close to our hearts and obviously Johnny and his dad are so super close so it's nice that he's gonna be marrying us I think that it'll be really special and I just like that it's someone like in our family that's gonna be doing it I'm trying to think of some other things for our wedding I'm like 
literally losing my train of thought though another thing we're doing is a sparkler exit because we're having our wedding is going to be like in the evening time and tonight time so it'll be dark outside so we're going to do a sparkler exit and our like getaway car is going to be johnny's truck because he loves his truck so much and it's pretty new and it's white so it'll like match the aesthetic of everything so that's gonna be our getaway car we are planning on leaving for our honeymoon the day after our wedding and where we're gonna go for our honeymoon is still a little bit up in the air nothing is like set in stone but we are talking about hawaii right now so i would be really happy if that's where we choose to go flights are just a little bit expensive but i feel like flights are gonna be expensive to literally anywhere but that is all for this wedding q a i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to like and subscribe i hope that i answered a ton of your questions about our wedding and that you feel like you know a little bit more insight into the wedding details and things like that thank you so much for watching and i love you guys see you in the next video